Welcome back to Hoochos. Today on Hoochos, we're going to set up and time lapse this. This is the modular 3D printed hydroponic system. So, this is the same modular hydroponic system that I showed you how to download, slice, and print in this video. And I have actually added in extra sections into this hydroponic system. Uh, these are the updated print files or the remixed print files and they are good to have intermittently throughout the system purely because of this grate which disperses the nutrient solution. Also it has these central holes which guide the tubing from the pump. As you can see the old style doesn't have these. I do actually recommend steering clear from these contraptions though. As you can see, as I've pulled the plants out, they've broken. They're just an unnecessary amount of filament. I feel like you'll get the net cups a lot cheaper or you could just print yourself a two inch net cup, but we'll come to these a little later. So let's get to setting up the system. To start with, I printed those filament hungry net cups and the middle sections as well. I'm using a high nitrogen grow nutrient that's pH 6 to 6.5 and EC 1.5. Uh, I just connected the pump up, put the system together, and it's time to add in the seedlings. Now the seedlings I used were half started in Jiffy Peat pellets and the other half was started in a 60-40 cocoa perlite within a two inch net cup. Now I just fed those seedlings by watering them with water at first and then incrementally increasing the hydroponic nutrient from below. So just watering it into the propagation container that they're in and they just wick up into the bottom of the net cups and the jiffy pellets. The reason I was using half net cups and half jiffy pellets is that the net cups would work with the original design and the Jiffy Peak pellets will just slide straight into those filament hungry net cups that I printed earlier. So I put the light and the pump on the timer and got ready to grow. and have a look at that result. Now there's 360 degrees of varying levels of success with this grow and it would be really easy for me to just show you the winning picture on the winning side and go, yeah, this is a great system. But I wanna discuss the pros and cons. So the structure and the design of the system held up really well. I would recommend going with the simpler net cups rather than these 3D printable uh, inserts. I find that they get stuck in the holes, so once you put them in, you can't get them out. They also take up a ton of filament, like these are over-engineered to the max and just unnecessary. You can print yourself smaller net cups if need be. The dispersers are really good. You can just fit in net cups into the updated prints. So one of the problems I have with this system 
being lit indoors is the inverse square law and how the light diminishes from the light source as it passes down over the system. Not only are the bottom plants uh, not getting enough light because they're a lot further from the light source and I had to turn this light source down um, because of the leafy greens in the system. The light source is the modular light. I thought it was pretty appropriate to put the grow plant a modular light over a modular system. Right? It just makes sense. So I turned that light down appropriately for leafy greens like this and you can see it. I'm still getting burnt leaves at the top because I, I had to find that sweet spot and right about here is where the perfect lighting conditions for leafy greens is and you can see the bottom ones have grown up to it. Uh, the ones that are in place uh, thriving and the ones that are above it are getting burnt um, up at this level. Yeah, this system's not an indoor system unless you're going to have side lighting um, and multiple side lighting that's going to give you that Goldilocks zone around the entire 360 degrees that this system covers. Uh, you're really going to struggle unless maybe you can plant like flowering plants at the top, leafy greens down here you might get away with it, don't know. So the timing on my system looked like this, and you can actually see in the time lapse where the plants are pulsing in response to the watering cycle. So I think that that watering cycle I had it on was appropriate. Possibly if you had a digital timer, you could do shorter irrigations, but you really do want to keep those irrigations fairly regular because once the roots are in this system going down, there's no media to keep them wet. So you want to keep both the roots moist and the humidity up within this system. All right, let's pull it apart and see what we've got internally. So I'm going to take the top cap off first, and this is where the water comes out the top and disperses. So we'll pull this out. Have a look at that. So the roots of the plant are actually making their way around the outside of the modular system and using the porosity of the print as anchoring for the roots. All right, let's disassemble this. And take this one off. This is the top section. Let's make sure I'm not gonna break any of the plants below. I'll try and save as many of these plants as possible. Oh. That's pretty cool. And those, those are really healthy roots. Nice. Look at that. And those bottom roots have made it all the way down into the res. Have a look at how they've made their way around the porosity of the plastic. Can't get over that, that's really cool. And as you can see, those roots have made it all the way down and into the res. Mmm, the res is a bit grotty. <laughs> so let me just show you the ease at which I can get the net cups out of the system compared to uh, these, well I just can't get these out, I, I don't know how. Oh, there we go, that one twists. I'm gonna ruin some roots here, but the net cups will just pull out like so. But these, you sort of have to twist them. And then, oh, it's just not the best. And I've ruined a ton of roots doing that too. The tolerances are just, they're just too tight. You can use these updated designed modules with net cups though. So that's, that's what I had this one in. And uh, it fits perfectly fine. Uh, that's a two inch net cup. So yeah, just use net cups. I find it's a heap easier. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Huchos. Really interesting result. I definitely recommend having these set up outdoors. As you can see, uh, the lighting circumstances are just not appropriate uh, unless you've got that surrounding light. But a really good result, nonetheless. Happy hydroponicking, and I'll see you next time on Who Chose.